and welcome to French Action, the channel where you learn French and the channel when you improve your French. And today we're going to deal with the third section of the CSEC exam. Guys, 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 you know, I have to say a few of, the, of you have contacted me. You are panicking. There's no need to panic. There's no need to panic. Now, I have seen a comment already and asking how much it, it is and so on. I thought you would know all this. Surely your teacher would have told you all this, but never mind. If it's not done, we're going to do that today. So no panic. Now, what is a little bit new for us this year is that the situation, you know, the oral situations, they are back. Okay, the oral situations were always there, you know, but because of COVID, they removed it. And of course, because CSEC is, you know, between fourth form and fifth form, so they had to wait for the fourth form to go into fifth form to put it back, you know, so that's the reason why it's back now. All right. So let me tell you just quickly how this is going to take place because you're panicking too much and I don't like that. <laughs> okay, you're going to get 15 minutes, a 15 minute preparation, okay? And by then you would have been given two documents. One is the reading and the other one would have been the oral situations. So during the, those 15 minutes, you will have to, you know, make sure that you read your text, but also that you do your uh, situations because it's going to be five situations. Now, for those who uh, need some practice, remember, there are some videos on oral situations. I think there was one which was released either last week or the week before. So you can go back to uh, this video. So there's a video and a live, okay, for the oral situations. Of course, there's not many oral situations on French action because, as I said, because of COVID, we didn't have it. So I didn't do any, okay? So I did one last year, I think it was last year, and the live this year, okay? So 15 minutes, three things. And the first one is not going to be the reading as it used to be, it's going to be the oral situation so that you don't forget your answers. So once you finish your oral situations, you're going to have your reading. And after the reading, you're going to have your questions. And after that, it will be finished, okay? So remember, it's three things you will have to do this year, okay? So 
Oh, yeah, Teles Channel. I hope I've answered your questions. Okay. So you need no panic. Just go through the videos and you'll be all right. Okay. Bien. So, bonjour to everyone. And as you know, I try to get somebody who is willing to do some practice live. And I know it's not easy. So we have somebody, but she's on and off, on and off, because at the moment in Jamaica, it's, well, in Kingston in particular, it is raining. So I just hope that we will be able to continue. Otherwise, okay, so we pray that the connection will be okay, at least mine. All right? Okay. So I'm going to see if she's there. Yes, she's there. I wasn't sure because you're in, you're out, you're in and out. <laughs> All right. Bonjour. Okay. So can you introduce yourself, please? Yeah. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Cecilia Brown. J'ai 17 ans. Je vais et Jonathan Gunn et de Jamaïque. Ok. En Jamaïque. Oui. Ok. All right. Ok. Ok. When you say you want to join, but remember, you know, I did ask if anybody wanted to join, they could join. But it's before because now I will have to send you a link and all that. You can join, of course, you can join, but um, I need a Gmail address, and you know, it's a little bit complicated to do it at this point in time. But I did ask for students, you know, I need to join, I, I need, you know, I need students, but nobody wanted to do it. So, all right, okay. Bien, so the first thing uh, we're going to do, uh, Shakelia, uh, I'm just going to explain a few things first, and then I go straight into the questions. So what I'm going to do, because Shakelia doesn't have a clue what I'm going to, say, to ask her, she hasn't seen the questions, okay? So uh, I'm going to ask you two questions each time under a particular topic, okay? The first question would be what I consider an easy question. And the second question will be a little bit more challenging. Okay? It could be, it might be the other way around for you, but that's how it's going to be. So there will always be two questions. Then I'm asking those who are with us to type their answers and I will correct. Okay? Ça va, Shakelia? Ça va, Shakelia? Shakelia, can you hear me? Shakelia? I don't know if she can hear me because she has had some challenges. Uh, Shakelia? No, exactly. That's what I thought. Okay. All right. So in the meantime... I'm going to um, show you a few slides, okay? So as I explained to you before, for those who just joined, it's three parts. You First, the oral situations, then the reading, and you will finish off with what we're doing today, which is the guided conversation. So you have to see it as a conversation, nothing else, okay? Just a conversation, all right? So in that section, which I call section three, uh, you will have 16 questions from four topics. But remember, it's six topics, and the topics are home and family, daily routine, uh, school and careers, sports and recreation, shopping, and travel. And these are our six topics. But on the day, they will have selected just four topics. However, I would advise you to go through all the topics 
because even us as examiners, we don't know which topics are going to come up. All right. And what does that section do? What does that section do? It really assesses the candidate's comprehension. Comprehension, do you understand the questions? Spontaneity. How long do you take to answer? Are you answering straight away or it takes you forever to answer? And fluency. Okay, I'm sure you understand the word fluency. Now, that is comprehension, spontaneity, and fluency. And then their correctness of expression and range of vocabulary within the limits set by the syllabus. Okay, so if you have the vocabulary from the syllabus, that's fine. We're not asking for very difficult words and expressions. Okay. So somebody is asking, uh, the four topics different for every student? No, the topics are for, the four topics will be for 2024. So it's not going to be different, all right? So now I'm going to show you how it's going to be marked. Somebody asked earlier uh, about the, the marking scheme. Okay, so I can tell you that is 25 points for the oral situations, okay? Because you're going to have five situations, so five marks per situation, okay? And that makes it 25. For the reading is out of 10. And for, uh, you can see here, for this part is 45, okay? It's going to be 45. Can you still hear me? Because I think I got frozen. Can you still hear me? Can you still hear me? Can somebody tell me if they can still hear me? Okay, thank you. All right, so the way we are going to mark your answers will be Comp comprehension and spontaneity, and that is going to be out of 20 marks. What we're going to um, assess here is, have you understood all the questions, all the 16 questions, okay? Sorry, I'm back. <laughs> All right, so I'm back. The weather is so terrible. I think it's because of the weather. All right, so do you understand all the 16 questions? And that will be for the top, top grade, okay? And did you manage to answer readily? Meaning when I ask a question, do you answer just like that? Or are you going to take forever to answer? Okay, that is what it is. Now, expression and fluency. So when the question is asked, do you respond very appropriately? So if I ask for your name and you say, j'ai 16 ans, you can see that you said it fluently, but it's not appropriate because you didn't answer the question. Okay. Have you used a correct expression? Is your grammar right? Have you got the right vocabulary? That's what we're looking for, okay? So I think that I've answered everything. Yes, if you have any question at this point, please ask them now because I'm not going to go through this again, okay? So remember 25, 10 and 45 okay so this is out of 80 all right so i'm waiting a little uh shakelia you're back uh, shakelia, i hope you will be able to answer a question because you know you've been in and out all the time okay were you able to see what what is on the screen yes okay all right 
All right. Um, okay, so guys, 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 you are all panicking. You want to do reading, you want to do situations, but today it's not about situation, it's just the it's just the um the guided conversation okay all right so let's do that home and family all right so that is the first topic home and family so i'm going to ask two questions okay remember the first one is the easy one and the second one a little more challenging okay all right so no noise now let's try and please listen and then you answer you can type your answers and uh, you shakilia you respond straight away okay okay, mm -hmm. okay. question numéro un quelle est la date d'anniversaire de ta mère? Mon, ma mère anniversaire est si mai. Et le, I didn't get that. Ma mère anniversaire et si et mai which month is that i didn't get it may it's may are you hearing me oh may oh sorry i didn't may. i didn't get that okay okay all right so here you have made a, a mistake by saying uh, ma mère anniversaire. Remember the question was, quelle est la date d'anniversaire de ta mère? So you can't say ma mère anniversaire, okay? You have to say l'anniversaire de ma mère, okay? L'anniversaire de ma mère, comme, c'est le, I'm just putting anything, le 15 mai, for example. Okay, and we don't need a year because remember, it's not necessary to have the year. Okay, so okay. l'anniversaire de ma mère c'est le 15 mai. Okay, you can't say ma mère anniversaire. Now, a way to get around this, okay, you can just say c'est le 15 mai. You still get your points there. All right. Okay. Yes, it's better to say c'est le 15 mai than make a mistake before. All right? All right, so some of you got it. Okay, somebody said ma mère est née le 16 août. That's fine. Okay, I will accept that. Uh, okay, l'anniversaire de ma mère, c'est le 15 octobre. Okay, très bien. Octobre, like me. Okay. Okay, I'm going in and out as well. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay. Now, the second question. So, this one is a little bit, uh, I mean, these are questions from CXC, okay? You ready, Shakelia? Yes, sir. Yes. Si tu étais enfant unique et si tu avais le choix, Aimerais-tu avoir un frère ou une sœur? Pourquoi? Yes. OK. While you're thinking about this, Dan Age, uh, le troisième de mai... Mm -mm. I don't know if you're doing uh, Spanish, but you don't have a DE. Okay. Look at what is on the screen. C'est le, that's all you need to say. C'est le 3 mai. That's all you have to say. C'est le 3 mai. You cannot say third. You can only say first and then two, three. 
you don't say third in French for the for the date. Okay. All right. So I'm back with you, Shakilia. I'm so not sure how to answer that one. You can't answer that one. Okay. Some have tried. One says no. Je suis enfant unique. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Jesus, help me. Come on, guys. Um, Zod, how can you say une frère? It has to be un frère. Parce que nous pourrions faire des choses ensemble, comme jouer au foot. That's very good. Okay. J'aimerais une sœur. Yes, but you didn't say why, Sweeney. You said j'aimerais une sœur, but pourquoi? Okay, so you haven't answered the full question. Okay. All right, une sœur parce que nous. No, you can have. Nous serons joués. Serons joués doesn't exist, Marvina. Okay, so be careful here. I'm going to say the question again. Si tu étais enfant unique et si tu avais le choix, aimerais-tu avoir un frère ou une sœur? So the first thing. You would say, j'aimerais avoir un frère ou j'aimerais avoir une sœur. And then you explain why, okay? So, Shakilia, can you still answer that question? What? Un frère, pourquoi? Okay, Abby, you can't say très bien et drôle. Where's your verb? There's no verb there. All right. Okay, so I'm going to show you the questions. These are the two questions. The first one was, quelle est la date d'anniversaire de ta mère? And the second, si tu étais enfant unique et si tu avais le choix, aimerais-tu avoir un frère ou une sœur? Pourquoi? So be careful. Many questions have a pourquoi. So if you just say, j'aimerais avoir un frère, the examiner is going to wait for the pourquoi, okay? Yes, Elia, you misunderstood the question. You're not the only one, trust me. <laughs> J'aimerais avoir une sœur parce que les filles sont le plus souvent très adorables. Oh là là, I like that. Very good. Okay, I'm going to put this there. J'aimerais avoir une sœur parce que les filles sont le plus souvent très adorables. Très bien, okay? So, Gabriel said, j'ai un frère et je voudrais avoir une sœur parce que mon frère est très terrible. <laughs> OK. And Christiana dit, j'aimerais une sœur parce que nous pouvons jouer, not les jeux ensemble, jouer aux jeux ensemble. But the thing is, nous pouvons jouer ensemble. If you play, it has to be games as well. So, you can just say jouer ensemble, ok? Bien. Alors, uh, Yana is asking how many times can you ask to repeat the question? Uh, <laughs> that is a good question. How many times? Remember, you know, it's, it's 15 minutes we give the other person. We can't make it go half an hour just for you. So, if we see that you are not understanding the question, then we'll have to move on to the next question. Okay? Um, sorry, I was out again. Right. Okay, so now we're going to go for the next topic, which is daily routine. Okay, next topic, daily routine. Alors, the first question, à quelle heure te lèves-tu le dimanche? Can you repeat the question? 
you need to ask in French. You can't ask in English. Remember, this exam doesn't have any English. <laughs> Ok. À quelle heure te lèves-tu le dimanche? No? Okay. I can see that some of you, most of you have understood the question, which is good. Uh, le dimanche, je me lève à 8h30. Très bien, je me lève à 8h. Le dimanche, je me lève à... I'm not too sure what's that word. You're doing Spanish. Seis is six in Spanish. I don't know if you're trying to say uh, Zod, if you're trying to say... 6h30 du matin. Le dimanche, je me lève à 8h du matin. Habituellement, je me réveille à 8h. Je me lève à 8h. OK. That is fine. OK. Um, you understood the question. So, that's very good. I'm looking very quickly. Everybody got that right. OK. So, uh, I'm just going to take the last one. Or any. Gabriel, for example. Le dimanche, je me lève à 6 heures. The reason why I put Gabriel and not the last one, as I said, is because she put the accents. <laughs> okay. All right. So I was trying to give you the other question, but she's gone. Uh, okay. We're just going to continue. Okay. Question numéro 2. Quelles sont les tâches ménagères que tu dois faire à la maison? Alors, Elia, you said, je fais la lessive. OK. I don't know why the question mark is there. OK. You can say, je dois faire la lessive, as opposed to, je fais la lessive. Je dois faire la vaisselle. Je dois faire la vaisselle et balayer le sol. Très bien, Zod. OK. Uh, because it says, quelles sont les tâches ménagères que tu dois faire? OK. So, je dois. OK. As opposed to, just, je fais. Okay. Okay, when you don't understand and you need to ask the question, okay, you need to say, répétez s'il vous plaît. That's all you need to say. Répétez s'il vous plaît. Okay? So when you say, répétez s'il vous plaît, the examiner will repeat. Okay? So the question Shakelia, the question is, can you hear me? Shakelia, can you hear me? Okay. Quelles sont les tâches ménagères que tu dois faire à la maison? Alors, je range ma chambre, je dois sortir la poubelle et je dois... Sweeney, you miss a verb. Je dois la vaisselle, je dois mm -mm, la vaisselle. Ok, je la vaisselle. Tellement je fais la vaisselle, je sors les, les poubelles. Wow! You have more than one poubelle. Et je mets le couvert, not la couvert, OK? Je dois faire la lessive. J'aime... Alors, euh, Lavonne, you said, j'aime promener le chien. Uh, that's not what they ask you. They didn't ask you which um, show you like to do. They're asking you Sorry, I was out again. 
So I was saying to Lavon, j'aime promener le chien is not quite answering the question because je dois faire means you have to do. OK? Je nettoie la salle de bain. OK, je dois. Hannah, you can't say je dois faire la cuisine. Je dois faire la cuisine. OK? All right, remember when you have two verbs following each other, the second always takes the infinitive form. OK? D'habitude, je fais la vaisselle, je sors les poubelles, je mets la table. OK? Um, OK, so the question. Now I'm going to put the questions. À quelle heure te lèves-tu le dimanche? You manage that one. The second one, quelles sont les tâches ménagères que tu dois faire à la maison? So you need to say, as Hannah, you said, je dois faire la cuisine. Okay? All right. So, so Abby, I'm going to put yours. Normalement, je dois faire la vaisselle. Okay? Ça va? Okay, Shakilia, we're going to move to another topic, which is cool and curious. Okay? Tu es prête? Okay. School and curious, guys. Question numéro un. À quelle heure finissent les cours? Le cours est à 5h. Ok, donc les cours finissent à 5h ou les cours finissent à 17h. Ok, d'accord. Um, ok, uh, Mago, you say les cours finissent à 2h20. You can't say fini, you have to say les cours finissent, ok, à, ah, and then you put the time, everybody will have a different time, ok, les cours finissent, ok, or you can say se termine as well, I'm sure I've seen that somewhere, ok, so, les cours finissent à, ah, and then you put the time, OK? Bien. Euh, D'accord. Donc, now the second question. OK. Euh, Anera, you can't say l'école finition. No, that doesn't work at all. OK? So you have to say l'école, les cours finissent, and then you put a time. OK? Bien. Question numéro 2. Quel métier voudrais-tu exercer? Okay. Quel métier voudrais-tu exercer? Répète, s'il te plaît. Je, je préfère Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I understood your your answer. Okay, let me repeat it. Okay. Quel métier voudrais-tu exercer? Mm. 
No? Alors, Hannah said, je voudrais faire la biologie parce que can, I'm not sure what that, intéressant et amusant. Um, I don't think you've understood, guys. Uh, ah, ah, you said, je voudrais faire le mathématique parce que c'est amusant. That's not what the question was about. Marvena, uh, j'aimerais devenir ingénieur. That's something like that I was after. OK? You have to remember that métier is, is a job. OK? It's not a subject. OK? It's not a subject. Tiana is not a subject, okay? All right, so I'm going, I'm going to put the question so that you can see what it is. À quelle heure finissent les cours? We manage that, okay? Quel métier voudrais-tu exercer, okay? When you have the word métier, you have the verb exercer un métier. So what job do you want, do you want to, to have, okay? And uh, so you can't exercise the mathematics. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, Sweeney had, uh, said, Mon rêve est de devenir entrepreneuse. Okay, I accept this. Okay, but métier, when you hear the word métier, you're talking about job. Okay, not subject. Okay. I know that the topic was school and careers, so you thought of school, but, um, okay. Christiana, je voudrais exercer médecin. No, you can't say that. Um, you can exercer la médecine, but not médecin, okay? So you just say, je voudrais être médecin. That will be fine. Mago said, je voudrais être Traductrice, très bien. OK, something like that. D'accord? OK, Shakelia? OK, you're making notes, I hope? Yes? OK. All right, so now we're moving to sports and recreation. OK? Uh, before I go into that, Tiana says the noun used for both subject and career job sounds similar. No, I disagree with that. I disagree with that. Okay, it's not similar because the job is métier and the subject is matière. That's no way the same. Matière is a subject and métier is the job, okay? Bien. Christiana, yes, is, the expression is exercer la médecine, okay? So you would say, je voudrais être médecin, okay? Doctor is médecin, without the E at the end, okay? So uh, uh, je voudrais... No, you don't need to say, je voudrais travailler seul. En... No, 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 you just say, je voudrais être médecin. That's it. Okay? All right. Uh, so, since everybody wants to become a doctor, je voudrais devenir médecin. Okay, this is what you could say, okay, je voudrais devenir médecin, okay, so learn this expression, the, the sentence, je voudrais devenir, and also remember, no articles before occupations and professions, okay, but you can say, je voudrais un médecin, if you say, je voudrais un médecin, it means you would like a doctor, no, you want to become a doctor, Abby. Okay? So the answer, I've just put it on the on the screen. All right? 
Okay. So it, it sounds as if you found all this a little bit difficult. Yeah. Okay. So sports and recreation, Shakelia. Sports and recreation. Mm -hmm. Question numéro un. Quel sport fais-tu? Pardon? This is your answer? Oh, you're repeating the question. Okay. Quel sport fais-tu? No? Okay. I've seen I've seen that somebody said who is that? Uh Devenir means to become Abby, yes. Sweeney, je fais, you don't say je fais l'escrime, je fais de l'escrime, okay? Don't forget your DE. I'm very pleased you say that because, uh, as you know, je fais de l'escrime. I do uh, fencing as well. Okay, je voudrais devenir biologiste, so that is fine. Je fais au volleyball. Non, Christiana. Je fais du DU, not AU, volleyball. OK, ma gauche, je ne fais pas de sport. OK, je fais le table de tennis. No, no, Stevenson, et je fais du tennis de table. It's the other way around, du tennis de table. OK, so you need to know what you're doing as a sport, you know. Uh, Low, ex low, je fais not au foot, je fais du foot, du. Obviously, you didn't watch my videos on sports because I mentioned all this already. The same, Teles Channel, je fais au football, mm -mm, that is wrong. Je joue le basketball, this is wrong. Remember, I explained that jouer is jouer à, so we would say je joue Oh, basketball. Okay. So Tiana is wrong. Je fais du basketball. Okay. So that's why I asked the question. Okay. So Anna said, je ne fais pas de sport. Okay. Je, et là, et la vlog, je fais du volleyball. Okay. Zod, je fais de la natation. Je joue au football et je joue au basket. This is a very good answer. I put that on the screen. Je fais de la natation. Je joue au football et je joue au basket. Guys, you need to watch those videos. They are on French action. I explain all this. And in fact, I have several videos because I didn't want the video to be too long. So I have one with fair and one with joué. So please watch it. Um, Jang, Jang Min, je fais du volleyball. Donne, je joue au foot. Okay, you can't say je fais au natation. Zod put it for you. Je fais de la natation. Okay. Lavan Stevenson, je fais du tennis de table. Okay, so that question, which is supposed to be an easy question, it's, it's not good, okay? Uh, I'm not going to go through all this now because it's, it's, it's wrong, okay? You can't say je fais au football, Telex Chanel, et je fais du football, or je joue... Au football, ok? All right, yeah, I've seen that you put it back. Ok, je joue au basketball, ok? Um, all right, je fais de la natation, ok? So, guys, um, this is an easy question, you know. So, you need to make sure that you know 
one, which sport you're going to talk about. It doesn't have to be the sport you're doing if you're not too sure how to do it, how to say it, but make sure that what you say is correct, okay? So the videos are on French Action, and if you're not sure which one to watch, just contact me, and I will send you the link, okay? Bien. Question numéro deux. Oh, God, she's gone. She's gone. Um, all right, so I'm still going to go for the second question. So listen carefully. This one is going to be a little bit harder, okay? And I remind you, it's sports and recreation. Que fais-tu pour te divertir quand il fait mauvais temps? Alors, anyone with uh, anyone with the answer? Okay, répétez s'il vous plaît. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to stop a minute because she's back. Okay, you're back, Shakelia. Okay, question number two. Okay. Que fais-tu pour te divertir quand il fait mauvais temps? Alors, Zod, c'est je lis et je dessine. OK, très bien. Répétez, s'il vous plaît, madame. Répétez, s'il vous plaît. OK. Que fais-tu pour te divertir quand il fait mauvais temps? Alors, je suis bête, c'est pour me divertir, je fais not la lecture, je fais de la lecture et j'écoute de la musique. Don't forget your de. OK. Uh, Blackman, c'est je lis des livres parce que ça me fait sentir heureuse. Ah, OK. Uh, non, je lis des livres parce que ça me rend heureuse. OK. You can't say faire sentir. It doesn't work. OK? Ça me rend heureuse. OK? I'm tapping it for you. OK? Um, je regarde des films et je suis sur, sur Internet. OK? Uh, je lis des livres et je fais mes devoirs, ok? Uh, so, Abby, if the weather is good, you don't do any homework. Mm -mm, that's not good. Normalement, je lis et je... Ok. Uh, Pesia is not... Christiana is not... Je dormis, je dors. Ok? Alors, Gabrielle, j'écoute de la musique, don't forget your de, où je lis mes livres. Ok? Euh, Zoé Davis, j'écoute de la musique, ok. S'il fait mauvais temps, je... Elia Vlogs, how can you say je lire? Lire is the infinitive form, you need to use the present tense, je lis, L-I-S, des livres et je fais mes devoirs, ok. So, you didn't get that, Chak Elia? No. No, and I get that, ok. So... That was, uh, quel sport fais-tu and que fais-tu pour te divertir quand il fait mauvais temps? OK. Um, so, j'aime dormir. J'aime dormir. You don't need to say toujours. J'aime dormir. OK. Or je dors. OK. So, I hope you understand the question. Se so, divertir is a reflexive verb, which means to... 
What do you do to entertain yourself when the weather is bad? Mauvais temps is bad weather, okay? So, quand il fait beau, maybe you go out, but quand il fait mauvais temps, you have to, you know, come up with something else, okay? You can't, generally, you don't go out, all right? Okay, all right, guys, sports and recreation, all of you have to do something about sports and recreation because too many mistakes with the sports you either uh you miss the de or you put the o instead of the du or you put the du instead of the o <laughs> if you look at the videos on french action uh i did it deliberately i have i had one with fair one with jouer so that you don't mix and don't get confused okay that's why i did it okay So, Tan Chung, je regarde la télé, not le télé, but la télé, c'est féminine, et je lis des livres, not les livres. Je lis des livres. OK? Bien. So, now we're going to move on to shopping. Abby, je regarde la télé. OK? J'écoute de la musique. De la musique. You listen to to some music, okay? All right, so now we are on shopping. Okay, Shakelia, uh, oh, she's, it's, it's still raining. Um, question numéro un, Shakelia, listen carefully, okay? Quelle taille fais-tu? Did you get it, Shakelia? Yes, I'm working on it. Okay, you're working on that. Okay. Okay, Mago, that's correct. But Dorage, mm -mm. the question is, je répète. Quelle taille fais-tu? Okay, I'm going to put uh, what my go put. This is the answer. One answer because not everybody has the same size, okay? What is your size? Je fais du 38. Uh, when you say set, Mm -mm -mm -mm. It has to be something starting with 38, 40, 42, something like that, okay? Set in French doesn't make sense, okay? I can see that some know their sizes. That's good. Je fais du 44, je fais mm, 30, mm -mm. je fais du 42, okay? That's fine, okay? Bien. Je fais, de 30 je fais du 38 39. du 39 oh. well in france it will be 38 40 oh. not 39 however you can do 35 with the shoes with the shoes you will have 39 but it goes 38 40 42 44 okay Uh, now, Télé Chanel, je mesure 5 pouces. If you go to a shop and you say je mesure 5 pouces, uh, the sales assistant would not be able to help you. Okay? So, remember, for the sizes we're talking about, let me put it here, 38, 40, 42, 44 and then 46 but now we're getting a bit you know uh, and that is for the size i'm talking about the clothes now i said quel taille okay 
Now, if it's not Thai and I ask, quelle est votre pointe, quelle est ta pointure? Then that is different because with pointure, which is shoe size, okay, we are going to have something different. We, are, we can have 38, of course, but we can also have 39, 40, 41, etc. Okay, so the shoe size a bit different. Okay, oh. so be careful. All right, I got you. So, ah, uh -uh, you cannot say je ne sais pas ma taille. Now you need to find your size now, so that if this question comes up, you know your size. Okay. All right. So the question, question number two now. Ready, Shakilia, prêt? Okay. Oui, madame. Décris-moi un magasin que tu aimes proche de chez toi. No. Alors, Iris, uh, Ashberry, je suis medium. I'm not too sure what that answers got to do. I'm not too sure which question you were talking about because I haven't asked you uh, anything about a profession. You're here, you're supposed to be you're supposed to be student, so you're not working as yet, but you can say what you want to become, okay? So, Chakelia, no? Décris-moi un magasin que tu aimes proche de chez toi. Alors, Dorej says, le magasin proche de chez moi est très grand. Grand doesn't have an E, Dorej, because it's le magasin. Et, le couleur, et les couleurs des murs sont bleu, not blue, bleu et vert. OK. Marvina says, il y a la boutique Gabrielle. C'est petit, mais euh, elle a, I'm not too sure what you mean here. Marvina, it's not correct. You can't say c'est petit. You can only say c'est petit. C'est never takes the feminine form, even if you're talking about something which is feminine. Le centre commercial est très grand. Why did you put an E, Elia? Le, if it's le, no E. Il y a beaucoup de magasins, une banque, un... Une pharmacie, not un, et une boulangerie, OK? Uh, but here, Elia, you're not answering the question. The question is, décris-moi un magasin. I'm not talking about centre commercial, OK? Le magasin est beau et grand et j'ai acheté une chemise, OK? Bon, why not? C'est un grand appartement de couleur rose en bloc, on vend des jouets pour enfants. Euh, appartement doesn't work here, jockey bed mark. OK? J'aime top pink parce, parce que c'est grand, not il est grand. OK? Il y a une variété de produits et c'est animé. OK? Spice babe, je suis... Oh, okay, je suis medium. Okay, I think she was saying she wears size medium. Okay, you need to be more specific. <laughs> okay, I, I misread. I heard, I saw me, med, medium, medium, somebody who can see the future. J'aime le magasin des tours, des tours, on, à des tours, on peut acheter des vêtements comme les chemises et les t-shirts de foot. 
Ok, d'accord. Mago, il y a beaucoup, you can't say des, il y a beaucoup de choses intéressantes. C'est rose et assez grand. You can't say grand because of the C. Ok. Um, Christiana, c'est il y a un magasin qui s'appelle Forever 21. C'est une petite boutique où on vend des vêtements très jolis. Très bien. Alors, I'm going to put that one. I like this one. Il y a un magasin qui s'appelle Forever 21. C'est une petite boutique et on vend des vêtements très jolis. OK. Uh, normally, you would say on vend de très jolis vêtements. Jolie is placed normally before. OK. Uh, le magasin le plus proche de chez moi... Uh, Hakim, le magasin le plus proche de chez moi, you miss the two out, est très grand, no i, e, et bleu en couleur. Ben, you don't need to say en couleur. Blue is a color. Ils sont très... Oh. Ok, so, have you got the answer to your question, Shakelia? I was wondering if I could say le magasin et petit et de couleur rose et bleu. Ok, yeah, you could say that. Ok. Um, alors, Dorage says, il s'appelle Miami Fashion et then I didn't get that, est très grand et les couleurs sont bleu et vert. Les personnes qui travaillent, not que travaillent, ils les personnes qui travaillent. Oh, you want it to say les personnes qui y travaillent sont très gentilles. Alors, gentil would be double L-E-S because person is a feminine word even though it might be males. OK? Il y a la boutique Gabrielle. C'est petit, mais elle a beaucoup de variété. Variété with an S if you say beaucoup, a lot. Et je et j'y vais, not je vais y toujours. J'y vais toujours pour acheter les vêtements neufs. Neuf with an S, Marvena, OK. Le magasin s'appelle Price Low. Il, il y a, attention, il y a, il y a means there is, OK. OK, so you need to remember that there is or there are, OK. All right. Um, You can't say c'est grand. It has to be c'est grand. Okay? Even if what you're talking about is masculine. Okay? All right? Ah, okay. You meant that. Okay. Okay, so now we're going into the last topic, guys, already. But before that, I'm going to give you the question. Quelle taille fais-tu? Et décris-moi un magasin que tu aimes proche de chez toi, ok? Bien, alors, now, travel, which is our last topic. Alors, Shakelia, the first question, as I said, is always easier. Quel pays voudrais-tu visiter? Pourquoi? Je visité par pays. Ok, je voudrais visiter. What did you say? Sorry, I missed that. Ok, Gabriel. Uh, yes, it's fine. Le magasin des tournes est très grand. Les couleurs sont bleu, rouge et jaune. Ce n'est pas très cher. That's fine. Shakelia? Did you understand the question? Oui, madame. Ok, all right. Ok, so Jacques Bed says, j'aimerais visiter la France pour voir la Tour Eiffel. I like that. Going to put that. J'aimerais visiter la France pour voir la Tour Eiffel. Uh, It's very good. I'm just going to make a comment on this particular answer because what I find very often people would say, j'aimerais visiter France because in English we say, I would like to visit France. 
But you need to remember that France is not France, is La France. Okay, so the countries which have their, their article, make sure you put the article there, okay? Uh, so I want to see La France, not France, RR. Je voudrais visiter La France. OK, parce que je veux parler avec tout le monde. OK. Je voudrais visiter... Alors, just a minute. Somebody said je voudrais visiter la Paris. Mm, 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 mm. Danila Salandi. That doesn't work. Because I was talking about a country. Paris is not a country. OK. Alors, Mago, je voudrais visiter la France car c'est... Là que se trouve Paris, la Tour Eiffel, et pour étudier le français, Mago, not la français, le français. Yes, I know we say la France, but le français, ok? Euh, Elia said, j'aimerais visiter le Japon parce que je trouve la culture japonaise intéressante. You miss the E, la culture est féminine, Elia, ok? I like this answer. Je voudrais visiter la Barbade parce que les plages sont très belles. OK, très bien. Tom Chang. Christiana, je voudrais visiter. Alors, when you say Paris, I'm not going any further than that because I talked about a country, not a town. OK. Um, Thea, j'aimerais visiter le Canada, not la Canada. Le Canada parce que je veux voir la neige. Mm. Very cold. Euh, Lélé, j'aimerais visiter Sainte-Lucie parce qu'il y a de belles plages. Très bien. Euh, Rachida, j'aimerais visiter la Thaïlande parce que de la nourriture. What does that mean? Parce que de la nourriture. Because food. I don't understand that. Euh, pour, euh, maybe you want to say j'aimerais visiter la Thaïlande parce que j'aime la nourriture, something like that. OK, Zod says, je voudrais visiter les États-Unis parce qu'il y a beaucoup de villes intéressantes que je voudrais visiter. Très bien. That's very good. Je voudrais visiter... Abby, 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 you said Paris. I'm not even reading further. Paris is not a country. OK, Harris, je voudrais visiter la Belgique parce que je pense que c'est très agréable. OK, I like that. Uh, black man, j'aimerais visiter la France parce que... Ah non, it's either you say pour voir l'Arc de Triomphe ou parce que je voudrais voir l'Arc de Triomphe. But you can't... You have to... To choose, black man, OK? La bonne, j'aimerais... J'aimerais l'Angleterre. Non, j'aimerais visiter l'Angleterre parce que j'aime le football et... Je voudrais, I think you wanted to say, je voudrais visiter les stades de foot, something like that. Okay, Hakim, I'm not even reading. Paris is not a country. Okay, j'aimerais visiter uh, Trinidad parce que les plages sont très belles. Belle with an S, okay. Um, j'aimerais visiter la France parce que je voudrais pratiquer. Alors, pratiquer doesn't have a C, okay. La langue et manger la cuisine. OK. Euh, Amisha, je voudrais visiter le Japon parce que c'est... It's not the Japan which is a delicious cooking. It has a delicious cooking. So you have to... Amisha, you have to change that. Mon rêve est... OK, Gabrielle, I like the way you started, but mon rêve est de visiter, OK, not a visiter, est de, d -I, visiter l'Angleterre, parce que je voudrais visiter les magasins et Big Ben, OK. Uh, you don't visit, you don't visit shops, you go to shops, Gabrielle, OK, you can't have visité, and here it's not very good when you have visited twice in the same sentence, because remember what they say, wide range of vocabulary, when you read, When you put two words, well, when you put one word twice in the same sentence, that's not going to help you, okay? And uh, Abby, je veux visiter Trinidad parce que c'est un beau pays et pour manger de la nourriture. Hmm. And to eat food. You eat food in any country, so 
something is missing there, Abby. Elia, j'aimerais visiter le Japon parce que je trouve la culture japonaise intéressante. Okay, so you corrected yourself. That's very good. J'aimerais visiter. Okay, I'm going to put that. Why not? J'aimerais visiter le Japon. And remember, Japan is masculine. J'aimerais visiter le Japon parce que je trouve la culture japonaise intéressante. Très bien. Euh, Marvena, j'aimerais visiter la France parce qu'il y a beaucoup de sites. Beaucoup de. You can't say beaucoup de. OK? Intéressant, not intéresse. Par exemple, la Tour Eiffel, le Louvre. OK, it's not le Louvre, it's le Louvre with an R et l'Arc de Triomphe, OK? Uh, black man, I've already said it, but I'm going to say it again. After say, you cannot have an adjective which is feminine, OK? C'est très beau, even if what you're talking about is feminine, OK? Je voudrais visiter le Japon parce que la cuisine est délicieuse. I think that's why you wanted to say Amisha. Amisha. OK? Bien. Uh, Shakelia, we have finished the topics. Are you... Do you want to do other questions? Or you want to stop? Other questions, right? Other questions. All right. So... We have other questions. I think seven more questions, and then that will be the end of our live. Okay. Oh, just a minute. Uh, I didn't. Sorry. <laughs> I that was question number one. Okay. So the second question for travel. I hope you didn't see it. Parle-moi de tes vacances d'été de l'an dernier. Did you get the question, Shakilia? Parle-moi de tes vacances d'été de l'an dernier. And this is our last question on the, under the topic. The other seven questions, you won't know the topic. Alors, Jiang Min, je voudrais visiter la Corée du Sud. You need to have your lab parce que c'est l'un des pays les plus populaires. OK. Euh... So, nobody understood the question? So I'm going to ask the question again. Parle-moi de tes vacances d'été de l'an dernier. Okay, I'm going to show you the questions. That would be easier. Okay. Jacques Bed, Marc, c'est l'été dernier. Je suis allée au camp avec mes amis et c'était vraiment formidable très bien uh, I'm not too sure quand what you mean by quand l'année dernière je suis allée à la plage avec ma famille ok Janelle uh, Elia Vlogs l'été dernier j'ai visité la Martinique avec des amis nous avons voyagé en avion et how can you put then future look at that again Elia That's wrong. Okay. Yes, I'm asking about the summer holiday. Les vacances d'été, summer holiday, l'an dernier, last year. Okay, Gabriel, l'année dernière, ma famille et moi, nous sommes allés à la montagne pour voir mes grands-parents. Okay. Jangmin, la Corée du Sud, not le. Okay, Christiana, l'année dernière, j'ai visité 
le Canada. <rire> et je suis allée voir mes amis, mes grands-parents, pardon. Um, okay, you have to be careful. Uh, you make that mistake very often. If you use visiter, you use visiter and the, the, the name of the country comes straight after. But if you put O, it's aller. Je suis allé au Canada, OK? But you can't have visited with O. Zod says, l'été dernier, j'ai nagé tout le temps, not tout le temps, tout le temps, L-I, et je suis sortie avec mes amis, OK? Rashida, l'été dernier, je suis allée dans un hôtel en Jamaïque avec ma famille. Très bien. Abby, l'été dernier, je visite, is present, so that can't work. And remember what I've just said, you can't have visité with A, is allé A, but visité is direct. So go back to that. Mago, pendant les dernières vacances d'été, ma famille et moi sommes allés à la campagne. C'était amusant. OK, très bien. OK. So, Shakilia, anything you can come up with? So this question, I wanted to finish up with this question because... Uh, I have found in the past when we ask questions uh, which require the use of the past tense, students are a bit uh, confused, okay? So you have, that. that's the problem, okay? Sorry, I'm back. OK, alors, euh, Ar dit, premièrement, j'ai visité la France avec ma famille. You can't say mon famille. Even if you're a male, ma famille. Puis nous avons mangé. You miss the avant. You need to revise your past tense, Ar. Nous avons mangé la baguette et nous avons vu les monuments. Okay, okay, okay. Um, ah, ah, you have to revise all this, okay? Donc, l'été dernier, Abby, je suis allée à Tobago et j'ai fait une promenade en bateau avec ma famille. Now it's correct, okay? Il y a vlog. L'été dernier, j'ai visité la Martinique avec mes amis. Nous avons voyagé en avion, okay? Uh, Zod, quelqu'un a voyagé, on a eu de la chance, oui. Not always easy to travel, yes. <laughs> OK, so, um, OK, I'm going to put Abby there, l'été dernier. Oh, no, not Abby, sorry, you made a mistake. It wasn't that one I wanted. Um, I think it's that one. Pendant les dernières vacances d'été, ma famille et moi sommes allés à la campagne. C'était amusant. OK? Something like that. OK? Uh, now, for this question, parle-moi de tes vacances d'été de l'an dernier. Um, I would expect three sentences. OK? So you have to be careful because here is just one. You went to the uh, to la campagne, but you didn't say where you were going, wh what you were doing there. Okay, it was it was um, it was funny, but you know uh, why? What did you do there? Okay, so uh, even though. I mean, I, I try to do to do it by putting several sentences uh, because that's correct. You should put more sentences. Uh, I prefer three sentences for that. Okay. All right. Um, I know you want to do situations, but I'm sorry, I don't have situations in front of me, so I cannot do situations today. Okay. I did situations two weeks ago. So you need to go to the live where the situations are, okay? All right, so you corrected it. So, premièrement, j'ai visité la France avec ma famille. Nous avons mangé la baguette. 
nous avons vu les monuments. Après, nous avons marché. Museum is, is, uh, is masculine and is musée. OK. Euh, nous avons visité le musée, mais c'est là j'ai parlé à mon ami. That's fine. That is, yeah, you said. Okay. So somebody is asking for some situations tomorrow. <sighs> Guys, <laughs> I don't know. If I do situations, it has to be tomorrow because the exam starts Tuesday. Um, you have to see, you have to follow me. Uh, you have to... You have to subscribe to know if I'm going to do it. I don't know. Maybe I will. I don't know. Because you're, so many people have been asking. J'ai visité la Barbade. J'ai passé trois semaines là. Je suis allée au, je suis allée au plage et j'ai mangé la nourriture authentique. Aussi, j'ai acheté des souvenirs pour ma famille. C'était vraiment incroyable. I like that. Black man, that's very good. Um, what I like about it as well is, uh, and that is good for... Um, the expression, the part where it's out of 25 is good because not only did you use the past tense correctly, but also you use another tense, which is the imperfect. C'était vraiment incroyable. So here you're showing, uh, you, you are showing that you can, you can use those two tenses and that will be good for you. Okay? Bien. So, uh, we're going to go through the last seven questions. This one, I wanted to do it like this because when, when you know, when you know what is coming up, you can prepare yourselves. Okay. But now you don't know which topic is going to be. Okay. All right. So let's try. Chakelia, you're with me? Uh, YouTube, YouTube, right. there's a, um, I can't stay too long because I have a, a French class with my teacher. Ah, okay, okay, all right. Okay, so you have to go. Okay, fine. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Chakelia, for coming. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm going to ask if somebody, one person, wants to join in. So they have to put their email address. They have to give me their email address with a Gmail, and then I can do that. Okay, I can uh, connect them. Okay, so merci beaucoup, Shakelia. You can leave the studio merci. now. And all the best for your exams. Is it next week? Well, this week because yeah, all right, all the best. Um, any like suggestions? Anything you think I should? You really think I should work on or? Okay. Yes, what you have to do. Alors, for the the questions, it's much easier uh, with French action because I have done a lot of videos already. Have you watched the other videos? I've been watching a few. Yeah, because we there, there's enough, I think, for the questions. Okay, because I did it last year, the year before, the year before, before. So uh, there's you have enough, and there's also uh, the videos on each topic, which are there already. So go through each topic and do it. Yeah. Okay. Mm. All right. Merci. Okay. Au revoir. <laughs> okay guys okay so there's nobody who wants to join me so i'm going to stop i'm going to stop the live now okay channel tomorrow please same time no if i do it tomorrow it can't be same time because tomorrow I work, you know, so I can't do it tomorrow same time. If I do it, it has to be in the evening after work, okay? 
All right, so nobody wants to join. Okay, so uh, I'm going to, I mean, the questions were just seven questions. It would have been, it would have been um, questions where you wouldn't have known uh, what it is. Okay, so black man is joining okay so black man if you can give me your email address uh, unfortunately you have to put it in the chat so that i can see it um Okay, so to join is very simple. What you do, you put your email address and then I send you something and uh, you should be able to join. Okay, so since I don't see any, I don't see any email address, so I'm going to close now and I'm going to wish you all the best for the questions. Um, all right. I'm waiting a little bit because I know that it takes a while for you or no, it takes a while for me to get an answer from you. So, okay. All right. So I'm going to, yes, Sweeney, you need to have, uh, if you don't have a mic, it makes no sense. And you and uh, you can't go on StreamYard without a camera. So it's... Um... <laughs> oh, gosh. Guys, 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 guys. You make me laugh, you know. Your, your camera is not working. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I'm going to give you the questions. Okay. I'm going to give you the seven questions. Seven random questions. Okay. Alors, question numéro un. Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire après le lycée? Okay, nobody, I'm not seeing anything. Nobody understood the question. Okay, I've been asked to repeat. Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire après le lycée? Okay, so the question which... Well, the answer which I expect is this one. Après le lycée, j'irai à l'université. OK, Jacques Bedmar, très bien. Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire après le lycée? OK, so j'irai à l'université pour finir mes études. Irish, you're going to brush your teeth and eat? Mm, 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 mm. That doesn't work. Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire après le lycée? OK. Uh, I'm going to continue with the question. So, qu'est-ce que tu vas faire après le lycée? OK. 
Um, okay. Um, oh, I see what you mean. You understood it um, as after school, what you're going to do. Uh, actually, that's not what was meant there. Okay, j'irai à l'université, but most of you says that. Après le lycée, je vais au collège. Uh, Arena, Areya, uh, je vais au collège. No, you need the future. Okay, you need the future. Bon, this is good because it still means that you understood the question, but okay. All right, question numéro 2. Quel est ton jour favori? Pourquoi? OK. Alors, Elia, you, you can't say « j'irai à l'université pour la médecin ».« J'irai à l'université pour étudier la médecine » avec un « i » à « the end ». Après le lycée, je veux travailler rapidement. OK. So, I have to repeat. <laughs> Quel est ton jour favori? Pourquoi? All right, I'm going to put the question here because I think you're having difficulty understanding. Quel est ton jour favori? Pourquoi? What is your favorite day and why? I remember when that question came up, the students uh, were lost. They, uh, so that's why I put that question because I remember on that year, students were really lost. Mon jour favori est le samedi parce que je peux aller à la plage librement. OK, je bête, très bien. OK, so I'm going to put that. Uh, mon jour favori est le dimanche. OK, so uh, tell us Chanel, yes, but you're not saying why. You're answering half of the question. OK, Jangmin, mon jour est le samedi, est samedi. Et le samedi parce que je vais parce que je fais du shopping ou Jangmin uh, it's not correct Mago mon jour préféré est le vendredi car c'est le dernier jour de la semaine scolaire ok très bien Twenty mon jour favori est le vendredi car j'ai le moins de matière J'ai le moins de DI, matière, with an E at the end, à mon école, OK? Zod, probablement, c'est le vendredi parce qu'après l'école, je sors avec mes amis, OK? Areya, je préfère no to is at the end, le vendredi. Don't forget your le parce que c'est à ce moment-là que commence le week-end, OK? Abby? Je jour favori, I don't know what you mean, um, parce que c'est amusant et je regarde la télé, Abby, I did tell you, you keep putting le télé, is la télé, avec ma mère. Ok, Irish, mon favori jour, non, it's not mon favori jour, it's mon jour favori est le samedi, parce qu'on peut rester, rester where? Rester means to stay, it doesn't mean to rest, ok, donc on peut rester à la maison. Iris, Iris, ok. Il y a mon jour favori est, vend... est le vendredi parce que je peux aller au cinéma. J'aime le vendredi parce que c'est le moment où commence le week-end. Mon jour favori est le dimanche parce que j'adore aller à l'église, Chanel. À l'église, don't forget, à l'église. Mon jour favori est le dimanche parce que je vais à l'église. De... Euh... Chung, remember, you know, no capital D's, no capital to days of the week. 
Amisha, mon jour favori est le dimanche parce que je fais la grasse matinée jusqu'à midi. I like this one parce que je fais la grasse matinée. Very good expression. That is very good for the top, top uh, uh, band. OK. Uh, mon jour favori est le samedi à Ar parce que je joue avec mes amis. Ami with an S, you have more than one. Christiana, mon jour favori est le samedi parce que je regarde la télé et je dors beaucoup. OK. Uh, Regis, mon jour favori est le vendredi parce que c'est le jour du début du week-end ou something like that. OK, Chantal, c'est le vendredi parce que ça commence. OK, I don't really like the way you, you put it. C'est le vendredi parce que c'est le début du week-end et je sors tous les vendredis. Something like that. OK, Hakim, for you, it's not, it's not le vendredi. C'est lundi. OK, c'est le lundi parce que je peux voir mes amis, not M. M, it's uh, the verb aimer après le week-end. Um, OK. OK, question numéro 3. Que fais-tu le soir pour te distraire? Alors, question numéro 3. Ok, je répète. Que fais-tu le soir pour te distraire? Alors, joke, Marc, pour me distraire, le soir, je regarde. OK, you can't say mon série, because série is feminine. So, je regarde ma série préférée, and préférée will have an extra E, OK? OK, so, um, so I think you've understood that question. I'm going to put it here. Que fais-tu le soir pour te distraire? So, uh, pour me distraire. So be careful because when you have, when you have a, a verb like distraire, it's not distraire, it's se distraire, okay, so if you want to reuse it, you have to remember that you're going to use pour me distraire, okay, but you can just be very short and say like my girl, uh, j'écoute de la musique, okay, je lis un livre, yeah, pendant le soir je fais mes devoirs, devoirs with an S, Vite, et puis j'étudie jusqu'à midi. Ah, ah, I didn't get that. So, in the evening, you do your homework quickly, and then you study until midday. But if it's the evening, I don't see how that can work. OK, Christiania, pour me distraire le soir, je fais de la lecture parce que c'est ma passion. OK, that's, I like that. I'm going to put it here. OK, pour me distraire le soir, je fais de la lecture parce que c'est ma passion. OK, bien. Euh, question numéro 4. Quelles études supérieures as-tu l'intention de faire?
Ok, je répète. Quelles études supérieures as-tu l'intention de faire Job euh, Bed, euh, j'aimerais apprendre le Japon. Japon is the name of a country. It's not a language. Je voudrais aller à l'université. Euh, Marvena, you didn't quite answer the questions. Quelles études supérieures as-tu l'intention de faire? To, to do les études supérieures, you need to go to university anyway. So, um, OK. J'ai l'intention de faire des études dans l'alimentation, Topaz. OK, j'ai l'intention d'étudier la traduction et la psychologie. OK. OK, uh, I was going to say Japon is japonais. Le japonais, OK. OK. OK, donc j'ai l'intention, I like that, j'ai l'intention d'étudier, OK? You have to remember, so I'm going to, um, to put the question here. As-tu l'intention de faire? Don't forget le de. OK, Christiana, j'aimerais étudier la biologie. That's fine, OK? OK, ça va? Bien, question numéro 5. Ton collège est fort en quel sport? Abby, je veux être biologiste après l'université. You're not quite answering the question. They're not asking you which profession you want. They're saying, quelles études supérieures? So, you need to say, j'ai l'intention... Euh, de faire de la biologie ou d'étudier la biologie. OK? Parce que je veux être biologiste. If you want after. OK? Alors, pour numéro 3, OK. Euh, J'écoute de la musique. OK, très bien. Alors, euh, Régis, j'aimerais aller à l'université pour étudier la médecine. Alors, be careful because you always make mistakes. Mais de si, not médecine. OK, it's E, E and not I. Ah, ah, you didn't answer the question. OK. So nobody uh, can answer question five. À mon lycée, on peut faire de la natation, on peut faire du foot et on peut faire de l'athlétisme. Zod, that wasn't the question. Alors, Marvin, OK, euh, principalement, bon, OK, you didn't make a sentence, but OK, I accept. Le OK, not l'OK. Le OK et le volleyball, OK? 
Uh, I'm not too sure why you say au foot. Le foot. Christiana, je n'entends pas. OK. Donc, euh, je répète. Ton collège est fort en quel sport? Let me put it there. Ton collège est fort en quel sport? Ah, ah, again, it's not quite, I'm not asking you uh, how many sports you're doing, okay? Black man, uh, I have been checking my email, I don't see anything. I've checked several times since I've been there, I don't... Uh, I hope I didn't make a mistake in the, so it's French action one at gmail.com. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So, dans mon lycée fort, en natation, not dans la natation, en natation, précisément mon collège fort en football, non, au, oh, en. Oh. Look. It says ton collège est fort en quel sport? En, oh. être fort en oh, quelque chose. So you need to have the en. Oh. OK? OK, so you have to remember the right à mon école est fort, mm -mm. Iris, no. Ok, Katrina, no, it's not O, it's en. Ok, mon collège est fort en basketball, ok? Bien, question 6, very simple question now. Qui choisit tes vêtements? Fizi, bon, you got mon collège est fort en euh, Fizi, Fizi. Mon collège est fort en football et en cours d'exécution. I don't understand en cours d'exécution. Mon école en... Yeah, but uh, Chang, when you put en, you don't put le. OK? You don't put le ou là. Mon école en fort est fort en hockey et volleyball. OK? Ah, now you are getting it. Mon collège est fort en netball. OK, très bien. Christiana, je choisis mes vêtements. Don't forget, choisi has an S at the end. That's very good. This was, OK. Um, so, Topaz, you said, c'est ma mère. OK, c'est ma mère qui choisit mes vêtements. OK, on oh, c'est ma mère. Fine. OK. Gosh, guys, I've just received three emails in one go. Um, but I can't, I can't uh, allow you to, to come now because the questions finish. Okay, uh, this is question six and I only have seven questions. So it took a long time, uh, but it's only now I receive at least three or four uh, Okay, so I keep your emails, okay, for tomorrow. All right, so McGow, you can't say ma mère qui choisit. You have to say c'est ma mère qui choisit or ma mère choisit mes vêtements, okay. Mes parents et moi choisissons mes vêtements, okay. Je choisis mes vêtements parce que je suis la mode. Très bien, Ch euh, Marvina, Chantal, la plupart du temps, c'est ma mère qui choisit mes vêtements. Très bien. Ah, ah, normalement, j'achète, it's not je achète, j'achète mes vêtements, mais quelquefois, mon père achète mes vêtements aussi. OK, now you're getting, you're getting into it now. So now my last, last question, very simple as well. 
Okay, listen carefully. Quel moyen de transport aimes-tu et pourquoi? Chang, mon frère et moi choisissons mes vêtements. Ok, très bien. No, guy, after the last questions, I have to go because I haven't eaten. I, ha I haven't had lunch. <laughs> I, I did cook and then I had to, you know, work on this. And uh, I haven't had the opportunity to eat. I won't be able to do more. Okay. Um, J'aime bien la voiture parce que c'est plus confortable. Okay. Très bien. Okay, I can put that there. Uh, J'aime l'avion parce que c'est très rapide. OK, I did tell you it was an easy one. Uh, J'aime l'avion parce que c'est très rapide. OK. J'aime l'avion. Ouais, Ma mère choisit mes vêtements. OK. Uh, J'aime voyager en voiture parce que c'est très confortable. OK, Rashida. J'aime le taxi parce que c'est confortable et tranquille. OK. Well, this one, I think everybody got that fine, okay? So, that was an easy one. Alors, the reason why I gave you that question is because when it came out uh, a few years ago, uh, the, the students didn't understand uh, the question. They thought that I was asking a question on sports because it says, quel moyen de... Transport. They, they forgot. They didn't hear the trans. They just hear poor, sport, something like that. And they talk about sports. So that's the reason why I put it there. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this um, this live. Um, just practice, practice, practice. Remember, you know, practice makes perfect. Okay, so just practice as much as you can um, and listen carefully when the examiner asks the question because you don't want to be asking the examiner to repeat every question. Can you imagine that's not going to be good for your, for your grade on listening, you know? So you need to ensure that you, you get something. Don't ask to repeat too much if you have understood the question okay all right so that's it for me and uh if we don't meet again i if we don't meet again then i would just say all the best with your exam um if there's a live tomorrow i don't know if there is one tomorrow it can only be tomorrow because i can't do the live after that because Exam start, okay? All right. Um, yes, yes. As Abby said, we'll do good, guys. We got this. Yes, you, you got this. It's just a question of, you know, practicing. And also, you have to remember that there's many other lives uh, on this, okay? So, and also the, the videos on each topic, if you haven't had the chance to watch those videos, well, please do it. Okay? Au revoir! And before I go, good luck to everyone. Au revoir! Merci, Bennett. Merci, Bennett. I'm sure they learned. They learned a few things. <laughs> okay, you're all welcome. And uh, you're going to kill this exam, okay? All right. Bye-bye.